my channel if you are new here hi my name is Imam and today's video is gonna be about how to get back to God well I think that's what I'm gonna title this video anyway um first of all I hope you are good um if you're not well I hope God turns things around for you um well I'm gonna start this video off with a prayer so that I don't go off track and I actually stay on track and you know I get to the point so yeah i'm gonna pray um heavenly father i thank you very much for today i thank you for those who are watching this video um or whoever clicked on it i just pray that the words i speak god that they come directly from you um i pray that holy spirit just speaks through me um and the message gets across and it's well understood and well received in jesus name i pray so today we're going to talk about when you basically feel like you've been far away from God. And this can be for people who maybe when they were younger, they knew of God or had a little relationship with God and then they just like, what well, you know, or this can be people who are already Christians and they kind of just struggle a little bit, you know, need to come back. Or this can be for someone who never known God and wants to get to know God. And this is like the perfect time to get to know God because, you know, most of us are stuck in our homes um and you have a lot of free time you know and you're bored and stuff so it's like perfect time to get to know god perfect time the first thing that we're going to talk about is repentance not a lot of people like that word but that's like the first thing that jesus actually preached about was repentance and repentance is for everybody it's not just for sinners it's also for people who are Christians, you know, there's <clears throat> things you do we need to repent. So, the first Bible verse I'm going to talk about is in Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13. And it basically says, the person who covers their sins, um, they won't prosper. However, someone who confesses and forsakes, so like leaves their sin, God will basically have mercy on them. Um, and repentance literally means to Oh God. Okay, let me give an example. If someone stole something and they were to repent, they would say, you know, I'm sorry for stealing this, and then they would I, they would not steal anymore, probably return whatever they stole. So it's the same thing with God. You tell God, God, I've done this and done that. I'm sorry for doing it. I'm not going to do it again. Now God help me. That's kind of how repentance goes. It's just you do something wrong and then you do like do a turnaround. Yeah, that's the word, turnaround. Yes. So that is basically repentance and. If you have been far away from God, um, you need to basically come back to him. He's right there. He's always been there. He's just waiting for you to say, you know, I'm sorry I ran away from you. I'm back. Kind of like the prodigal son, if you know that story. Yeah, so the first thing you should do is repent. Another advice or thing I would talk about is not falling into religion. So, yes, Christianity is a religion per se however what we have with god is a relationship that's what we want a lot of people talk about relationship relationship but what does relationship actually mean like what does it practically look like so i'll give you an example so two most important things that you need to do um to get closer to god um or just in your relationship with god anyway is for you to read his word and for you to communicate with him so talk to him pray to him and also listen let's say that i right now i want to do bible study okay or i just i wake up in the morning and read my bible now to have a relationship with god you can have like your usual bible reading that you do but you can also do bible study with god which is actually really cool um and practically that just means that you can ask god a question you can say god where do you want me to read today and god can say you can get like a bible verse pop up in your head and then you open it up and you read it or you read the whole chapter and you and sometimes it just like completely relates to your life and then after you read that you could like remember something else and then or god can take you to another bible verse and you just you're out there like reading and then writing down what you've read and like you just feel like god's speaking to you and everything just relates to your life you know that's how to have a relationship now the difference to relationship from religion is religion is you wake up in the morning you just open up wherever or you just have a bible reading that you're doing every day you open it up you read it it makes no sense to you you don't bother asking god god what does this mean you just read it 
close it on down to the day call on me once now that's just doing religion and that is completely meaningless you you're not speaking to god and he's not speaking to back to you or if you are speaking to god let's move on to prayer actually so let's talk about prayer <laughs> okay sometimes after you finish reading your bible in your religious systematic way you just do a quick thank you god for today help protect me today done <laughs> i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that prayer it's just very dry <laughs> okay and that doesn't show a relationship a relationship is you talk to me i talk back to you that's a re that's a relationship religion is i say this prayer because i have to and i'm done for the day moving on we don't want that we want relationship okay keep that word in mind relationship so after reading your bible you feel like you know god's spoken to you you could ask him questions you could be like god you know i read this i understood this part well like i completely didn't understand this like can you kind of tell me what that means um and god can literally just drop a word in your mind that just answers that question or you might not know what to pray about which is why your prayer life might be dry ass <laughs> um which is why we have the holy spirit you can ask god what you should pray about so when you feel like you don't know what to pray about all you want to say is thank you god for the nice weather and god protect me today and that's your prayer done you could be like god what should i pray for and god can say pray for your mom your mom your mom might pop into your head and that's god telling you to pray for your mom or your friend might pop into your head god saying pray for that friend you know or some ideas might come into your mind which can be related to a section of your life and god can be wanting you to focus on that so that's what we call a relationship i think that long-winded explanation explains it all okay so when you read your bible ask god god why should i read and then let him take you through ask him questions god what does this mean and another thing is when you ask god a question and you don't get an immediate answer is to basically not give up keep listening okay one thing that a lot of people don't do is listen so we like to talk to god we like to talk 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 but we don't we don't listen to what he has to say to us so you need to take some time <laughs> okay after you've read your bible be like god what is this saying what how does this relate to my life like what do you want to tell me and just wait wait for him to say something back and he will always say something back we just tend to be impatient so yeah so yeah first number one repent number two relationship not religion don't fall back into religion relationship okay number three is actually quite simple and it is honesty um and when i was um writing down what i wanted to do for this video i wrote down my ideas and this was one that i felt like god just dropped on my heart that i should talk about um i don't really have much to say about it but just be honest with god because god already knows how you're feeling he already knows what you're thinking he knows how many hairs are on your head he knows everything about you so what is the point of not being honest with him what's the point of running away or hiding you know it makes no sense so it's just easier to be honest with god okay so if you're feeling down he knows you're feeling down okay so you just tell him god i'm feeling down today i'm not feeling too good you know communicate speak to him and he'll probably speak back to you and the way he'll speak back to you could be like with a bible but <laughs> and the way he'll speak to you could be like with a bible but okay and he could literally you could say okay god um i feel like i don't have enough money or something and then god could just let you know that you know he's your provider and you just speak that over your life and like god is the one who provides for me god says that i I will not lack and then you'll feel like kind of calm and peace or if you're feeling some anxiety some anxiousness you know just speak some bible verses over yourself or god will even remind you of those bible verses then you speak over your life so yeah there's a difference a big difference between religion and relationship and that's kind of what i'm pushing forth in this video so that's why i said honesty okay um so because when you're honest with god that that's a real relationship where you can be honest about your feelings and you know god says you should cast your cares upon him for he cares for you so just throw everything at him and you know let the blood of jesus just like 
I boil that and you know let the Holy Spirit just refill you you know yeah so number one repent number two relationship no religion number three honesty be honest with God number four fourth final one is to not give up I feel like I've spoken for so long so I'm just gonna okay so not give up um, this is um, a really important one because this is how a lot of people get into this zone of I used to know God but like I used to be close to God but now I'm not close to God anymore or when you start to feel distant from God it's because you moved away from him God is always there he's always with you always if you feel like God is distant you are the one who has pulled yourself away from God and it's usually sin or you just not spending time with him that will just pull you away um excuse me but yeah don't give up and what I mean by don't give up is say if <clears throat> you wake up in the morning um you read your Bible you don't really understand but you feel like you don't have time like you feel like you have other things to do so you just do a quick prayer and you don't really remember like what you should pray for who you should pray for it's just a quick general prayer so you've read your bible you've prayed in your mind you're like i've ticked those boxes and then you go along your day and you don't speak to god for the rest of the day you just go on the next day you do the same thing the next day you do the same thing i've done this before the next day you do the same thing you've gone from relationship to religion and then you kind of start to give up a little bit you don't may not think it in your head but you start to give up you start to draw further and further away from god and then they the day after that you might maybe read a verse of the day instead your prayer might be a couple seconds long you know the next day you wake up you forget to even read your bible you just do a quick prayer you know that's how you start to pull away from god so when i say don't give up um it means that you need to work <laughs> for it and when I say work for it let me give you this Bible verse I think that'll clear it up so in Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 it says um small is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life and there's only a few that will find it so if there's only a few that will find it the word find it means you have to be searching you have to be looking you know nothing's just gonna come to you you have to go out and seek God so you have to put in the work like that it's like we have a role to play in this relationship with God yes God is running after us and seeking after us but there's he's not gonna force you you have to consciously say I'm going to seek God with everything I have and you basically don't give up on that so there's days where you feel like I don't get the scriptures today I don't feel like praying today that's fine just do it another time or persevere just keep going don't give up so you have to basically desire god and you have to want to go after him you know nothing's just gonna fall in your plate like oh here's this platter here's your perfect relationship with god no no there's good days <laughs> there's bad days there's off days and that's just normal that's just life okay there's nothing you can do about that you just need to take it all up to God like God this is not such a good day for me take it to him and then let him replenish you and he replenishes you with his word when you what you know another thing this is not even on my list but I'm gonna say when you're feeling down when you feel very far away from God sometimes you should just worship just worship him just let him know how grateful you are for everything that he's done to you um done for you so yeah that is it for today's video um i probably forgot stuff but if i did it's fine this video is long enough anyway um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um let me know what you think let me know how you would approach someone who is trying to get back to god these are just my tips um on what i do oh one more thing actually i completely forgot is that throughout my day so yes i'll read my bible in the morning and i pray and talk to him but throughout my day I, I carry on speaking to god so i could be washing the dishes and it will look like i'm speaking to myself but i can be like so god what do you think about this or oh god i'm feeling this sort of way it's kind of becoming a habit for me 
where I asked God about everything. So even before um, when I was trying to sort out this video because I haven't filmed in so long, it was just like, oh God, what should I talk about? And then he gave me one. Oh, honesty. Talk about honesty. Um, so just little things, you know, even with your work, where even when you're bored at home, because of course you're going to get bored, you can just be like, God, what should I do? I'm really bored. Like, oh God, you know, I want to play a game. What game should I play? Or, you know, just talk to him, fellowship with him. He wants that. He wants the relationship. Okay. So yeah, I hope you as much as you could from this video um i hope that it blessed you in some way and i just pray that it touches your heart and um yeah that's it for the video so uh i'll see you guys in the next video um if you know well yeah that's about it i don't really have anything to say um yeah thank you for watching if you like it give it a like comment subscribe I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Have a blessed, blessed, wonderful day. I love you in the name of Jesus. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's your boy. <laughs> Cow. <laughs> it's so comfy in here, bro. You have to understand. Skin feels doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel normal. <laughs> Go away, please. How can I help you? I haven't done anything. Go away. How can I help you? <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> I need that plate. I need that that plate. All right then. I'll wait until you're ready. <sighs> Alright then, bye.